I'm calling to report an officer involved shooting. I don't want to hurt you, but this is inevitable. All right. I'm sure a lot of Dexter fans are mad right now. I'm mad in the way they did Dexter in the final episode. I cannot believe it. But what if? Just hear me out. What if he's not dead? What if he was laying there after he grabbed the bulletproof vest from the police station? Because he knew it might get down to that. Then he grabbed the blood packet, which we've seen him use before. Because he knew it might get down to that. And he gets up while she's talking in the season two opener. Chokes her out. Ends up telling her the same thing he told Coach Logan. You're a good cop, but this was inevitable. Bam. Hits her with the karate chop rear naked choke. He runs off. Now his son is hunting Dexter. We saw his son ride off into the sunset of I-80 or whatever 80. So what if his son now is tasked to take out his dad and his dad keeps on moving because of all the good people he hurt in that town, even though he did hurt some other people. And we saw his sister throughout the episode telling him, you're sick. You, everyone you come around dies. This is what you do. This is who you are. Now, Dexter's alive, takes out the cop, goes on the run, and we saw his old partner, or his old buddy, come from Miami PD, was going up there. So he sees the dead body. He knows who Dexter Morgan is. He puts out a face. It's such a good storyline to go by. Dexter actually has to get, he has to actually stay hidden instead of just walking away scot-free. It's such a good storyline. They they killed it with this, just shooting them off like that. There's so many ways they could have went about it. And I, I can't believe it happened. I'm disgusted. I am hurt. I am upset. If I don't hear about Showtime, I'm going to cancel my Showtime until they announce Dexter 2. And I looked up the ratings for Dexter. He's got the highest ratings on Showtime. Even this season was better than all the other shows that they say are great. Why would you do that? I mean, I get what... Um, I get that bringing Dexter back was a risk. It's like bringing back The Matrix, and that was trash because they went all woke. But this one did a good job of not making it woke, but making it just woke enough. Like that kid that killed the deer. I'm sure all the woke kids were like, yeah, he deserves to die. He killed that white deer. You know, I'm sure that there was so many things in there that they could have done that they kept it just woke enough. So it was still a good show. They didn't kill it with wokeness. There was no blue haired. Re <laughs> there was no blue haired dinguses running around. There was no. And that the one guy that talked about how he was a millionaire and the uh, police chief's daughter didn't accept his hot chocolate. That was just woke enough. It wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't push it to the limit. That's what made this show great. They didn't kill it with wokeness. And I love that. And that's what needs to happen. Give them a little wokeness if they want. But so anyway, this needs to come back. Season two, Showtime's canceled. I'm done with it. Until they bring back Dexter Season 2. And this is my theory. Chokes her out. Goes on the run. Son goes after him. And he actually has to do his killings. Without being known to the public. That would make it even harder. Before it's always been easy for him. Now you're actually getting a storyline here? You're actually building a storyline? And you're going to kill him now? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I will not stand for this blasphemy. Tell me what you think. I'm calling to report an officer involved shooting. I don't want to hurt you, but this is inevitable.